What's going on everyone? Gamer King Tar Hill back. I missed you guys. I hope you guys missed me as well. I'm back with another episode of Vita Talk where I talk about all things PlayStation Vita and everything under the PlayStation universe. I want to talk a little bit about what's coming up in February. I want to talk about some of the games that I'm really excited about and also some things for the US PlayStation Plus members that's coming as well. You guys are watching footage of course of Sly Cooper Thieves in Time, a game that I was super excited about last year, but I'm also really glad that they pushed it back so it'll have its own time to shine this year and it didn't get lost in the busy holiday season that the Vita had last year. A couple things I want to mention, first this game is being discounted by most retailers out there, both the PS3 version and the Vita version are selling below normal cost. You can pick up the PS3 version pre-order for about 40 bucks and the Vita version for 30 This of course is a cross-buy title, so if you purchase the PC PS3 version, you can download a Vita version as well. So anyway you look at it, it looks like Sony's doing whatever they can to make sure this game is in as many hands as possible. I will have full coverage of Sly Cooper Thieves in Time when it's released in the US on February 5th. I hope to have the full review up on launch day or at least the day after launch day. One question I do want to ask you guys though is how do you guys want the review? Do you want me to review Sly Cooper as a package deal with the PS3 and how they complement each other and go back and forth or should I still just focus solely on the Vita version? Either way I plan on getting both versions but I'd like to know what would be more beneficial for you guys going forward especially for these crossplay games that are so closely tied together with the PlayStation 3 version and the Vita version like MLB The Show which is coming out. So please let me know down in the comment section what you'd prefer and I'll try to go with that. In other news, US PlayStation Plus members are getting Ninja Gaiden and Sigma Plus tomorrow in their instant game collection. This is a game that I personally paid full price for at the launch of my Vita and it was worth every single penny then. It's still widely considered to be one of the best action games of all time and to get it at the PlayStation Plus cost is a great addition. It also leads up to the Vita release of the sequel which is coming out on February 26th for the Vita. So it's a great opportunity for people unfamiliar with the series or scared of the difficulty to give it a try in preparation of the sequel. It really is one of those great games. I would avoid hero mode if you are going to play it though, it kind of makes everything cheap. But it is one of those games that I think everyone who really loves video games should play. That's it for this episode of Vita Talk everyone. I was hoping to have some Ratchet and Clank Vita which last I heard had a release date of this week but I haven't seen it on any of the drop lists that it is actually coming out this week. So if I hear anything that it's not coming out or it is coming out, I will let you guys know. And that's it. Stay tuned for the Sly Cooper review coming next week. And also I've got some Wii U reviews that I've already done. I just haven't posted. They should be up this week as well as a lot of you guys have been asking about that as well. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Take care.